Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. So Everything Five Pounds have kindly gifted me a load of clothes to show you. Well, not just clothes, I've got bags, I've got shoes. So we've got a few different kind of items in this haul. So if you wanna see what's new on Everything Five Pounds, then please keep watching. Oh, I just wanna add quickly, if you're not really sure how Everything Five Pounds works, basically what they do is they buy old stock. So a lot of this stuff was once more than five pounds, but because it's brand's old stock, everything five pounds, buy it, and obviously mark it up at five pounds, or even less, sometimes it's two pound 50. So sometimes you might find stuff like River Island, New Look, Topshop, all those sort of brands, you can sometimes find on everything five pounds. So that's how it works if you're kind of new to it. Okay, so this is the first item. So it's this kind of like, it looks oversized, but it's actually not that oversized once it's on it's basically just a plain grey ribbed jumper it's got a seam down the front not sure why I guess it just gives it a bit of a bit of detailing on the front I did get it in a medium so I suppose if you was to get it in a large it would fit a bit more baggier but what I did was I just slightly tucked the front into my trousers and I thought it looked quite nice the arms go a little bit tighter so as you can see there it kind of like bags out on the top and then it kind of slims down on your arm. But yeah, I love the fit of it. I love the colour of it. It's a nice light grey. It does have at the bottom kind of like um, It like tightens around the bottom. But obviously because I kind of bagged it up and tucked it in my trousers, like that doesn't really matter. I wasn't really... Well, I suppose I could have worn it like loosely. But because it's got that elasticated bit at the bottom it's not going to look right so i just thought the best thing to do was to tuck it into my trousers and i think it looks really really nice next up we've got this brown kind of cable knit jumper this is very similar to one that i got before in black and i put a picture up on my instagram of me in it and so many people well no not so many people that's a bit dramatic but Quite a few people were asking me where the jumper was from. Obviously it was tagged and I'd send them the link, but it was sold out. So this is very similar to that. So if you're one of those people that was interested in that black oversized jumper that I tried on a little while ago, then you might like this because it's a very similar style, if not the same. I think the only thing that's kind of different is the sleeves are tighter. Whereas on the black one, they're a bit more kind of like a wing sleeve so they were really baggy but yeah really like this on love the color it's a very nice thick jumper as well it's not thin got it in a large perfect size fits really nice how i want it to fit yeah i really recommend this this is a really good quality piece just for a fiver so this piece i saw on my friend hazel's channel and i really loved it i loved it on her and luckily it was still in stock when i was looking through the website so I picked it up and I can confirm with her that it's really, really good quality. It's nice and stretchy. It's really, really flattering on the top half of your body. And yeah, I just really, <laughs> I just really like it. However, I did order, I think she ordered a black one as well. And I thought I ordered a black one, but I'll show you in a minute. It's the same kind of style in a way but it's not the same really really love this um as i said very flattering on your top part of your body i got it in a medium and yeah just a really nice piece that you can pretty much wear with anything like on the bottom half like leather trousers normal jeans joggers so you got you know quite a lot of options with this top so this is the top that i thought was the same as the gray one but as you can see, I don't know if you can see if that if that's picking up on camera because I know blacks sometimes don't. But it's it's got the cross bit on the front, same as the grey one. But the material's different. That makeup mark is from me trying it on. It actually looks different when it's on. It's just completely different. It's not the same whatsoever. So yeah, I don't know what went wrong there. I don't know if that was me not really kind of paying attention to it on the website or what i don't know to be fair the this part fits really nicely on me like there's it's not too tight 
Whereas the arms, the arms are so tight, I can barely move in them. And that's because I've got quite chunky arms, but I mean, with the other one, it's more of like a, it's like a cotton material and it's stretchy. Whereas this, yeah, this, oh, I don't even know what that is. 95% Viscon. I have no idea what that is. What size did I get in this? I got this in a medium. So, you know, same as, same as that gray one. And yeah, it just didn't fit for me. So um, yeah, that's, that's a shame, but never mind. In fact, I take that back. You know, when I said it fits all right around my chest area, it doesn't. There's like a big gape in the front, as you'll see on the try on clip. So yeah, that top is kind of like a no-go for me, but it might suit a different kind of shaped person. Okay, next up, I ordered just a plain white shirt. Well, it's not really plain. It has got this lace detail on the back. But I only ordered this because basically I wanted a more of like a fitted shirt to wear with some of my jumpers that I've got. So I've only got one oversized shirt from Zara and it really is oversized. A bit too much sometimes with certain items. Basically I was just after a more fitted shirt and this one popped up but it did have this on the back but it's fine because I'm not gonna wear it with this on show. So on the try on clip, I just kind of tried on a jumper to show you what I mean. So yeah, I would never wear it with this out. It might be some of your guys' style, but for me personally, I would probably just wear this shirt with a jumper over the top and just obviously kind of really have it for the sleeves and like the collar. So that's my idea of why I wanted to pick this up. Next up, we've got this half zip hoodie. I love the colours, black, brown and white, which is my fave colours at the moment. And as I said, half zip. Um, it's also got a drawstring at the bottom, so it can you can like nip yourself in if you want to wear it as more of like a cropped jumper, which is what I did in the trial clip, but you can wear it obviously baggy if you want to. You have that option. It does have a hood. The hood does feel a bit small though. I couldn't really pull it up whilst I was wearing it like especially with the zip right up it felt a bit tight but I would probably wouldn't really wear the hood anyway it's just a nice lounge piece nice and comfy nice and loose I actually purposely got it in a medium because I wanted to wear it as more like a like I said a cropped jumper so I thought I would use the, the drawstring to make it a bit more cropped and wear it with like some joggers like kind of like high-waisted joggers and yeah, that was my kind of vibe for this outfit. So I purposely did get it in a medium, but if you wanted to wear it more like of an oversized jumper, then I would obviously recommend going for a large or an XL. Just to add as well, the material is quite thin. It's not a thick jumper. It's very like lightweight. So if you ever are looking for like oversized jumpers, then I'd recommend looking at the men's section because they sometimes have like plain jumpers, like cable knit ones that women could easily wear. So I did have a look on the men's section and I found this half zip fleece, which is what Harry's into at the moment, my partner Harry. He is really into that half zip. So I saw this one and I thought, oh, I might pick this up and see if he likes it because he wears them all the time at the moment. So. I got it in a large, it does look really big, really soft. It's from resultclothing.com. Don't know if you've ever heard of them. But yeah, I just really liked it. I mean, I personally wouldn't really wear it for myself. I could if I wanted to. If I just wanted to like lounge around the house in like a nice soft fleece, then I could easily wear this. But I kind of picked it up for him just to see if he would like it. So he's at work at the moment, so I'll show him later. And what I'll do is I'll try and insert a try on clip of him wearing it if he's okay with it. And then you can kind of see you know, not, I don't know if you really care if it looks all right on him or not, but oh, here he is. He's just tried on his fleece. Oh, looks good. Like Do you like it? Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's the same nice, isn't it? Work fleece. Yeah, it fits really nice. Yay. It's all right. see it from the front? Me, no, it looks good. Do a thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or not. But you know, if you wanted to pick up something for a friend, a brother, a part your partner, then you know, everything five pounds has men's stuff too. So we're moving on to accessories. We've got this scarf. I wasn't expecting it to be as soft as it is. It's really, really soft. I thought it was gonna be like that rough kind of material, but it's really, really nice and soft. 
it's this lovely grey with like a speckle of white in it. You've got the tassels at the end and it's just a nice big chunky warm scarf which is what we need right now in the UK. I only own one other scarf so yeah I thought and that one's kind of like a it's like a grey and like a light pink one so I thought this would be good because this is more like a darker colour. So this can kind of go with my like dark like black coats and stuff. So if you watched my, I don't know if it was my last Everything Five Pounds haul or the one before last, but I picked up some bags that were kind of like long champ inspired and they had, they didn't have the ones that I already bought last time, like the beige ones, but they did have a hot pink one and I believe a light blue or like a dark, I think light blue and dark blue. I picked up the hot pink one and you're probably thinking if you did watch that video because I picked up two of these size ones in a pink and a beige and a big long one as well in like a beige colour and you're probably thinking why do you need any more like that's ridiculous but I've used them so much when I go out and take my Instagram content I pack all my clothes in them and because I've got so many clothes that I want to shoot a lot of the time it just really comes in handy because you can get so much stuff in these bags. So I picked up a hot pink one. This is like the, I'd say like small to medium size. This time round, I picked up two of these. And to be honest, I will ask family and friends if they want one because I know that I now have two, three, four. I have five of these bags and I know that does sound a little bit ridiculous. And they're so, so similar to the long champ ones. So... I just had to pick it up. And then I also saw on there this saddle bag, this plain black saddle bag. And I've been looking for a saddle bag. Not that I need any more bags, which I say in all my videos, but I saw this plain one and I thought, oh, do you know what? Why not? I'm gonna go for it. So, oh yeah, look, so you can adjust it. And obviously wear it cross body. Really nice, really plain. Just show you a close up of it show you the inside so that's the inside and then you've also got a zip on the back there and to finish this haul i picked up not one not two not three but four pairs of slippers <laughs> yes four pairs of slippers i will explain so these are the first pair so I saw these as I was kind of like wrapping up on the website, thought I was nearly done. Saw these, thought, oh my God, need these because these are kind of like the UGG inspired slippers that everyone has bought. And I was so tempted to buy the UGG ones. I don't really want to pay that price for them either. So glad that isn't because look, I mean, you're only paying for the name, let's face it. It's the only difference is they're probably a little bit thicker on the sole and they've got UGG on the band. So I have slipped my foot into them just to kind of, when I got them at the packaging, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna have a little, little sneak peek of them before I show you guys. And they are so nice, they're so comfy, so, so soft and yeah i'm obsessed they're true to size i've got a size four and that is what i am and yeah i love them when i saw them i had to pick them up in pretty much all the colors that they had <laughs> to be fair no they did have other colors i think they had oh i can't remember now i'm sure they had a pink but i did oh no i did pick up the pink <laughs> so i picked up the pink the cream or the white and the black <laughs> So when they do wear down, because because I'm at home so much lately, I've been wearing my slippers like all day, every day. So my slippers are kind of wearing down and you know, when they get a bit tatty, because obviously they're not really expensive, I don't feel so guilty chucking them away. So, you know, when these ones kind of get a bit run down, I've got more to keep me going. So, you know, I am getting my wear out of them. But, oh, and I also did pick up these as well. These are not that same style. These are slightly different. They're just like a cross, they've got like a cross band with a little pearl on them. So I thought they were cute. But again, I don't know. I might keep these. I'll just store them away. And like I said, when my others run down and they get a bit tacky, I can get those out of the cupboard. So 
yeah that is my explanation as to why i picked up so many slippers do you want me to show you them on let me do what i normally do i'll put them on down here and i'll record on my phone so these are the slippers on love them they're so so soft obviously i'm yet to walk in them to see what the band's like and hopefully the band doesn't slip off but i think it'll be all right but yeah i am in love you all need a pair of these i snapped that off by the way just now so ignore that so that is everything that i picked up from everything five pounds really happy with my order once again i managed to find loads of nice pieces it is a bit overwhelming when you go onto their website because they do have so much stuff but if you want to kind of keep up to date with what they have then i think they have a well they do have a facebook page because i follow it um where they kind of like they upload pictures of things that they're putting onto the website that day so if you want to kind of you know keep an eye out for things then that's the best way to do it i think because their website is a little bit overwhelming there is so much stuff on there and you do have to take your time looking through and just kind of like trying to like visualize how you would dress some of the items so yeah it's definitely worth it guys if you want to save a bit of money that is all for me thank you so much for watching don't forget to head over to my instagram if you want to see like more day-to-day -day things i upload every day on there and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me and i will see you all in my next one